Hi everyone, I'm Alice and I'm part of WFP's MVAM team. I'm going to be guiding you through this remote data collection course and welcome to its first video. Accompanying you through this course is a case study set in a fictitious country, Vamistan, where you are based as a food security analyst. The short quizzes that you will take at the end of each lesson will be based on your experience of setting up a remote data collection system in Vamistan. Now, don't worry if you don't remember everything first time. There's also a brief to go through with this video, so whenever you have to reflect on Vamistan, you'll also have a document to look through. Vamistan is a low-income country. Its currency is the VAM dollar, which has a current exchange rate of 1 US dollar to 720 VAM dollars. There are 40 million people living in Vamistan, 85% of whom are based in rural areas. The official language, Vamistani, is spoken by 80% of the population, and the remaining 20% speak other minor local languages. There's a gender disparity in terms of literacy levels. Roughly 75% of the male population is literate, compared with 65% of women. The capital is Bau area. The country is made up of four governorates, Hussein, Sigaji, Gornio, and Mariste. Hussein state has a population of 15 million. The population are mainly agricultural smallholders, and it is Vamistan's poorest state. Sigaji state has a population of 8 million. The main livelihood is also agricultural smallholders. Gornio State has a population of 12 million, most of whom are agricultural smallholders. Mariste State has a population of 5 million. The main livelihoods are commerce, livestock and agriculture. The capital, Bauaria, is located here, as is your country office. It's Vamistan's richest state. Poverty, unemployment, dependence on subsistence agriculture and food price fluctuations drive food insecurity in Vamistan which relies heavily on food imports. In fact, the price of cereals has risen steeply since January 2016, but Vamistan's well-developed markets provide opportunities to deliver food assistance through various transfer modalities. The poor, women and children and refugees are most at risk of food insecurity. Moreover, Vamistan has high levels of chronic malnutrition 34% of children aged between 6 and 59 months are malnourished. The food security situation in Vamistan varies greatly according to season. The most difficult part of the year is the lean season, from January to April, when households are waiting for the winter harvest. During this time, many poor households struggle to pay for their basic food and non-food needs. Households who rely on markets to access food, such as those in urban areas, are affected by higher food prices and lower levels of remittances. One other important factor when conducting remote food security surveys is the potential for a sudden onset emergency or shock. Now, Vamistan is prone to natural disasters. Droughts can impact the growing season and between March and May, there is peak flooding risk. Whilst Vamistan has a stable political and security situation, it is vulnerable to emergencies triggered by regional instability. The Hussein Governorate is host to 450,000 refugees who mostly live in two refugee camps. The refugees have been displaced by ongoing conflict between two of Vamistan's neighboring countries, Kazara and Klogo. In Kazara, the population speaks mainly Kazarini, whilst in Klogo, they mostly speak English. Recently, there's been some insurgent activity in Hussein coinciding with elections due to take place there in early 2017. Whilst only 25% of households have electricity at home, an estimated 90% of the population have access to an electricity source at their neighbours or through street shops. Even so, just 56% of the population owns a phone and 80% has access to one. There are two mobile network operators, VAMTEL and Telecom Networks Vamistan TNV. Both are well present in the country and the governorates of Mariste and Gornio have 3G coverage. Hussein and Sigaji are less well served. The network is 2G and can be unstable in the rural areas, but it is quite reliable in urban centres. The mobile phone sector is tightly regulated by the government. The government IDs everyone who buys a SIM card. 
The telecoms regulator is also notorious for taking a long time to approve requests, particularly with the election coming up. There are three call centres in the country. One of them, run by VAMTEL, also runs campaigns for UNICEF. Now, all of this information needs to be taken into account when you plan your remote food security surveys. Thanks for watching this introduction to Vamistan, and remember to have a look at the brief for more information, and please refer back to both during your exercise. Enjoy the rest of the course.